what is happening guys welcome back to lords of the fallen okay so i may have gotten a little carried away <laughs> let me explain um so i decided to do a little bit of farming you know just a little bit of nothing nothing too much just a little bit of farming <laughs> i got my strength to 20 endurance to 20 and vitality to 25 and now let me tell you i feel so much better about playing this um I also, you know, I, I found a farming route, and I actually made a video on it, and I posted it on YouTube already. Uh, but I can show you the quick farming route if you want to see it. So basically, all you do is go into Umbral. And we're at the Windmill Vestige place. But go into Umbral. You're going to run down here. You're going to heavy attack this guy. And the cool thing about this farm, too, is we're going to loot a bunch of awesome stuff, too. Like, I looted like, a lot of stuff. Very useful things. But yeah, each one of these rounds of running this is actually going to yield us about... 20, uh... I thought that was a thing. Um, each one of these rounds of running this is going to yield us about uh, 1,500 uh, 1500 souls. I'm going to call them souls in this game just because bigger sounds weird. Um, but then we run up here, take out this guy. We run back here and take out this guy. And we run this way across the bridge. I got him. And I also, you know, I didn't mind farming that much either because I actually feel a lot better with the controls now too at this game. I have a lot more better understanding now, which is good. But then you run down here real quick and you harvest this. Because these things, when you harvest them, I didn't point this out, but that's actually souls. So, free souls, basically, when you get that. And doing this run in the angle realm, too, is actually really good because it spawns extra enemies, too. Which is never a bad thing when you're trying to farm. But yeah, just that run alone, I mean, I, I've just about got 1,600 solid uh, souls in there. I keep wanting to say runes because I keep thinking of the Elden Ring, but I'm like, no, nah, let's say souls. And I also found out, too, these creatures, when they touch the, anything that is, like, connected to the living world, they die. So basically, if they touch the vestige over here, they die. Pretty interesting to know. But yeah, that's the farming route. So I did that like for an hour and a half today and I was able to get myself to, let's see here, what level am I even at? I don't even know. I'm at level 37. So in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, I'd say closer to two hours, I was able to get from level whatever we started at to level 37 with that farm. So I'd say that was pretty damn successful. I, I just put on some music on Spotify, some, uh, I put on the new Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, uh, uh, yeah, the new Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty album on Spotify, and I just jammed out while I uh, did some farming, so we're in a much better place now. But like I said, also, I feel a lot better with the controls now, too, so let's go fight the boss. I don't think we'll have a problem. At least I don't think so, anyway. All right. And I also, too, if you notice, too, my outfit is blue now. I figured out how to use those trinkets that we collected. So basically, those trinkets are free color things that you can use for anything. And they don't run out either. So if I wanted to use, make all my stuff bronze, I could do that. All my stuff gold, I could do that. Or for, for sworn, I could do that. Um, I'm using this one, the silver tint, on all my outfits. Uh, which is pretty cool. I wish uh, Elden Ring had a thing like this. That would have been a very cool feature for him to throw in, but... Very cool how it doesn't run out. I was afraid it would run out once we used them, but nope, it does not. 
All right, back to the boss. Let's uh, kick this thing's ass now. I mean, we know the mechanics of the game a lot better. We're a lot more stronger. We have more vigor. Track's different. There was also another update to the to, to the game tonight. So I don't know what was up with that. Watching this game like every day. Critical attack should be more uh Attack. Still got the Umbro Realm though. Oh, did we get her? Oh shit, we got her. Alright. Unless there's a second phase, I never even considered that. There's a second phase. Shit, dude. This is crazy if there's a second phase. Those graphics look trippy. Is this like millennia? <laughs> is she gonna have like superpower? Oh, great. Looks like there is a second phase. Oh, maybe she won't be as hard, though. There's got to be some type of balancing here. Because I have no health left. I was really hoping that there was not a second phase. Good deal. Good deal. Um, what is this? Bro. 
brothers and sisters, you honor us and all who came before you with your sacrifices. While I wish they were unnecessary, my wishes will not ease your suffering, but I pray my sorcery does. Hmm. Okay. Wow, we're still in Umbral, aren't we? We gotta get out of here. Well, um... Yeah, we gotta get out of Umbral. Get back to our seedling. Let's go back there and see what up. Oh, that guy's gone now. Did he leave anything for us? Does not appear so. An item right there? Sure looks like it. This is where you can plant a seedling. But I don't want to use up that stuff, though. No, I don't want to use that up. I still can't get through here. Oh, well, this is creepy. We just entered somewhere. One thing that I think, one thing I know though, is we haven't even found like a central hub yet, so this could be a central hub, maybe. I mean, all Souls games gotta have a central hub. And this just kinda has the appearance of it. our firekeeper welcome dark crusader sky rest bridge yep this is definitely gonna be a hub with a name like that all right let's uh, see what we got here I'm guessing these are gonna be where NPCs come in maybe these like jail cell type of things. Let's light up the vestige. So here's my question. Can I still warp to those seedlings that I have out there? Yes, I can. Interesting. So when you plant those seedlings, they stay there. You just can't like remove them though and put them somewhere else though. That's the main thing. All right, let's talk to some people here and figure out what's I going on. I have no doubt in my assessment of you, as one worthy of the monumental task which lies before us, Crusader. My name is Dunmire, and I am an exactor of the Dark Crusaders. You're basically the Holy Gideon. The order of which you are now an honored member. Yes, you are basically Gideon. The Church of Orion Radiance has assigned to me the duty of purging Mornstead of its Rogar blight and ensuring the ancient tyrant Adir was no liberation from his enduring imprisonment. While the schism between the Church and Judge Cleric is of long standing, she and her hallowed sentinels, now perverted, did at least construct Mornstead's radiant beacons, which have prevented Adir's return for centuries. But now, we stand corrupted and on the verge of collapse. 
It is to these five beacons you must turn your eye. Use the Umbral Lamp to cleanse them of a deer's destructive influence, and deliver salvation to a world on the brink of perdition. Rogar and Hallowed Sentinel alike will offer you no quarter, so remember, though Aureus' mercy is without limit, yours should not be. Ooh, purchase. You serve a higher purpose, Crusader. What do you sell? Oh, you sell the other starting weapons. Radiant Flare. Radiant Flare that damages enemies directly ahead. Radiance 8. Radiant... Wait, we could actually use this. We have Radiance of 9. Radiant Catalyst is what we need, though. I don't even think we have that. Raise your weapon and, and imbue it with radiance. Ooh. Minor holy salts. Mirror of protection. A mirror which reflects malevolent energy. Temporarily protecting you from those seeking to perform the crimson ritual. Don't know what any of that means. Okay, so where do I get a radiant cal catalyst at? I feel like we're going to need that to be able to use any Radiant Stand. Oh wait, Orion Preacher Catalyst, right here. Is this what it is? Is this all it takes? Radiance of 12. We would need Radiance of 12 to even use this, though. Might be worth it to pick it up, though. Let's grab it, just in case. That way we have it. Um, Marian Preacher. Attack power 99, attack power 88. That's a little bit more powerful. But we need a Radiance of 13 to use that. Urger Axe. Is there anything else that could be really useful here? I'm guessing this is a lot of starting equipment for the other classes. Nephite Dagger. We'll grab that, and we'll also grab Healing Radiance, and we might upgrade Radiance then a little bit here. So, that might be nice to have. Um... To strive in darkness, what can I sell? Can I sell? Ooh, I can sell all this other bullshit, this wooden crosses? <laughs> Just a... yeah, it's not even a weapon even. Well, it's, it's a weapon, but it's super weak. I might as well sell it. Um, I mean, from all that farming, we got all kinds of shit we could sell. I mean, we have all these axes. There's no inventory limit, right? It does not appear to be there. It, no, it does not appear to be. Good. I was like, I sure hope not. I hate it when games have in inventory limits. That's one of my pet peeves of games. That's why I love Souls games, though, because most Souls games don't have inventory limits. Alright, so that's what you offer. What do you offer over here? By Arius's divine will, I live again. Oh, shit, that's her. It's a miracle. Is that Peta? And to think I raised my sword to you. It is. When all along you were a divine instrument sent by him to deliver my death and rebirth and bring clarity. Forgive me, Lampbearer. I'm Pieta of the Hallowed Sentinels. Pieta. And as Arius <laughs> sustains me, so too will I sustain you. Whether by making manifest your potential or through my healing blood contained within the sanguinarix you carry. Should you find any saintly quintessences, bring them to me, and they can bolster the power of my blood further still. The beacons must be cleansed, the hallowed sentinels restored, and Adir's malignancy eradicated. Through whatever is to come, fellow chosen of Aureus, we stand together in service of him. Okay, so I'm guessing she upgrades, yeah, upgra upgrades Sanjumarix. That's the healing thing. Our holy work continues, Lampbearer. Oh, I have one of those. One time saintly quince. Nice. Fellow sanctified vessel, may Aureus' divine radiance flow through me and into you. So I have another charge now? Is that how this works? 
Or is it more powerful? The beacons must be cleansed, and Adir's malik fellow choke. Okay. Let me see here. Do I have five now? No, I still have four. So it must have just made it more powerful. It gives me more health, maybe. Maybe that's for Solace Rebirth. Maybe that's how I like take it to the next. That's how I maybe get another one, maybe. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's just, let's see what else is here. While the beacon should remain your most pressing task, I would have you perform another for me concurrently. Seek out and return to me the items which stand as proof of the hallowed sentinel's heretical deviations and practices. For only in the study of such can we hope to turn them towards the true light of Aureus. This land is overflowing with sin, so I expect this undertaking to offer you little difficulty. Also, say nothing of this to Pieta or the Fidelis Captain. They are already conflicted. Troubling them further only endangers them and our mission. Hmm, hiding secrets are we now? This land is overflowing to offer you also. They are already conflicted. Okay. Um, how much was that hammer? Just a second here. I wanted to see... In case we get a hankering to use this hammer if we get Radiance up, because if we push Radiance up anyway, we'll be able to use this. I mean, I, I like hammers. If you know me, I like big weapons. 600. Uh, yeah, we can buy it. Raise your weapon and imbue it with Radiance. Uh, radiance of 18. We're not going to push Radiance that high, though. That's really high. Alright, so what else is this way? Okay, so that might be a way to progress. Let's see what else is here first. Ooh, oh, we got your one back here. Oh, who are you? You friend? Are you friend or? Okay, maybe I need to go. Hello, good sir. Can I talk to you now? The land must be born until the favored child makes themselves known. Only then can the remaining carrion of creation finally return to the void. Okay, he's the best voice actor so far in the game, without question. That was fantastic. Purchase. What do you have? Chosen bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve. Umbral Catalyst. Umbral Orb. So wait, there's Umbral? Umbral magic? I thought there was just Radiance and Inferno. That means there's de death magic in this game? Damn. Seething Vigor Skull. Skull seething with vigor grants 1600 vigor. Why would you buy... I'm confused. Why would you buy... Oh wait, I know why you'd do this. So you could store your vigor. That's really freaking cool. You could store your vigor with this, so you could buy these and store your vigor up. Am I reading this right? Like, okay, so we'd pay 3,600. Or no, we'd pay 3,000. And we'd store 1,600 vigor. Oh shit, no, it's only like half. You'd store half of it. Oh, so you can't store all of it, but you can store half of it though. So if you had like 30,000 vigor, you could store 15,000 of that. That's interesting. Uh, the Eye of Fallen Warrior, used to unveil further opportunities for vengeance. I, I wish I could read about these, but it says increase your Inferno and Radiance to gain further insight. It's like, I don't want to have to do that. Number of Moth, used to travel to the most recently used vestige. A small, seemingly purified figure. Plant is fitting location to create a vestige seedling. Oh. Oh, a seedling. A small, seemingly petrified figure. Increase your... Okay. Uh, that is a vestige seed. We definitely want to buy that. Is that on... Uh, does he sell unlimited amounts? Select the amount to buy. You Is that correct? 
a small, seemingly petrified figure plant in a fitting location to create a vestige seedling. I think he sells unlimited amounts. Damn, dude. We're definitely going to pick some of those up. A skull replete with vigor grants 3,200 vigor. So again, it's half. Half of what you buy, so... Interesting. Okay. Some interesting stuff this guy sells, though, for sure. I, I like that. That's I, th I thought the seedlings were going to be limited in this game. I thought I heard somebody online say that, but... Uh, Apparently you have you can buy unlimited as long as you have the souls to buy them. Interesting. Okay, what do you what can Chosen I sell you? Bearer of the lamp. Like you, I serve. I can sell you basically Until anything. Her Socket umbral eye. What is that? Oh. Umbral eye of betrayal. Of, okay, one soul clay charge plus fifteen percent dread resistance. Plus 25% healing efficiency while in Umbral. Dude, what? Okay, I don't know even where I know where I got that, but uh Yeah. Create Umbral lamp. I need one times Adavelian chisel. Okay, what's this do? Main Umbral eye socket, two soul flay charges, one secondary umbral eye socket, 10% dread resistance. Then. Okay. Shrine of the Putrid Mother. Use plucked eyeballs. Wait, contempt ashen. I'm confused. What is this? I wanted to read that. Uh, I wanted to read what this did. Hmm. I don't even know what these are because that uh, thing went off my screen so fast. Kinda sucks. I don't like it when I don't get to read something. I'd have to look back at the recording and pause that. Alright, uh, let's get back to Land of Living. Now, let's see what else is here. Are any of these open yet? This one's open, but nothing's in here. And you're open with nothing in there either. Did we go down the left side or the right side of this place yet? Oh, is this just going back up? Something's... Oh, that's one of those things. Oh, I could have got back then to the land of the living from taking this thing. Well, that would have been nice to know back after I beat the boss. Oh, well. I did find out, too, those things do spawn back once you die. So, or, or if you rest, they come back. So you don't have to worry about using them up. All right, I think that's everything there. I think we've got a good understanding of what's here. For now, anyway, until things get upgraded. You def have I talked to you? So the exactors found himself a new instrument. As exactors are wont to do. And given that lamp was intended for me, should his paladin fall. And yet now here you are, lamp bearer. Well, it seems I was right to doubt the value of a dark crusader's worth. I'm Stoneman, captain of the Fidelis. A group of good men and women who've made a stand against the madness which has possessed the rest of the hallowed sentinels. We made a vow to restore our order to its former glory, whatever the cost to ourselves. And by Judge Cleric's grace, we'll honor that vow. That heretical umbral lamp 
and the Dark Crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times, as are you, it would seem. Perhaps our aims will align further, or perhaps not. What do you sell? Oh, you sell all the starting gear. So if I wanted to buy any of the other starting gear, I could easily buy that. A key intended for use on certain doors in Pilgrim's Perch. Hmm. We don't have enough money for that key, sadly. Ring of Duty. Increased vitality and endurance attributes. Knightly culture has long been a given aspect of Kingdom of Haladin in jousting mounted combat and horses and... How much does it increase, though? Doesn't say how much it increases. Like why? I might. Is there not a, another screen like I can switch? Like, what if I do this? No, that doesn't do anything. I want to read about this stuff. Artisan armor. Yeah, Hollow Knight armor is still the strongest, so we're gonna keep rolling with that. Anything better than 120, we'll switch to it. But uh, I've not come across it yet. Ammunition pouches. Oh, I found out too what ammunition pouches are. They are basically in combat. If you run out of ammunition, you can just use one of these and you'll have your ammunition back. Alright. Um, 3,000. Can I buy this? Let's buy it just for the hell of it. We can try it out, see if it's good. I can probably... Radiance, judgment. Yeah. Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Okay, anything else on this side? Oh, what is this? Nothing is even in there, that's weird. Might come to play later then. Okay, what's out this way? Is this that guy again? No, it's somebody else. Ah, that's it, isn't it? Oh, the lamp of immortality. And the genuine article. Not a useless empty vessel like the one I saw that witless fool bumbling around with. I've learned a little since coming to Mornstead about that lamp and the awful mission to which it's attached. I hope you recognize that frightful burden for what it is. In truth, what's been done to you is downright cruel. Of course, some people are born into roles of tremendous responsibility. My name is Andreas of Ebb, esteemed scion of nobility, but far more than that, descendant of the great ruler Antanas himself. As proven by my family's book of lineage, for one. That's right. Through my veins flows the blood of the legendary hero who defied a deer and a rogar and saved the whole world, only to be betrayed and murdered by a common criminal. So you'll understand the man of my pedigree cannot simply stand idle while an unfortunate victim such as yourself remains shackled to such a grim fate. Give me the lamp. And let me shoulder your burden, friend. What say you? No? It saddens me to see you bring such agony down upon your own head. I hope you see sense and reconsider. My offer stands as long as necessary. After all, what man of breeding would turn away from one so clearly in need? My offer stands after all. Hmm, he wants to take our lamp. Yeah, I, I don't know if YouTube is really showing how great this game looks, but holy shit, this game looks incredible. I'm, I mean, I clearly, I, you know, I was thinking like a lot of the YouTubers, the big YouTubers were getting paid to talk so good about this game, like, and how it, you know, how fun it was and how good it looked. And now I'm starting to think that maybe it was just, you know, honesty and they actually really did say it looked great and they just enjoyed it because I'm having a blast so far and this looks fantastic. And obviously, I don't get paid to say that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm pretty impressed so far with this. 
Oh, this might actually be the way to progress. Okay, so wait, what's that other thing do? On the other side of this place, there was another thing out there. Let's go over there real quick. Because that looks like the way to progress. Because, yeah, on the very other side of this temple, there was a... an umbral door. Right through here. Where does this take us? You need the Skyrest bridge key to open this door. Oh. So that's for later. Okay. Skyrest bridge key. Keep an eye open for that. So that is the way to progress. Okay. Um. Do we have any runes to level with right now? No, we have 167, we need 3,500. So we bought like a bunch of shit. We had like 10,000 when we came in here. <laughs> um, but I want to check out that other ring. I did figure out rings too. I found one when I was farming today. I found the mine owner's ring. This is basically you like your turtle talisman. That's stamina regeneration, so obviously a golden one to have. Uh, ring of duty increases vitality and endurance attributes. Nightly culture has been a significant. I don't know how much it increases. Oh, it tells down there. 21 to 26. That's a little bit better. Um, if we take it off. Okay, so it's one point on each. Yeah, that's that's something. And I'm guessing this is another ring slot here, probably. So we can probably wear three rings, is my guess. Okay. Or maybe that's a talisman spot. Maybe that's maybe talismans are in this game yet. I feel like we would have ran into them though by now. Hmm. I also put better things in my quick access menu too. This quick access menu is pretty nice. It's, uh, I basically have this in here just in case we get a boss to lower health and we just want to kill it real quick, heal over time, that way I can have some extra heal. I put uh, Wither Salts in here since we are like a quality build, you know, strength and endurance build. We're not going to be using a ton of magic, we're going to try to get Radiance up a bit to be able to use some stuff, but we're mainly going to be using quality for this. So I want, ha had some uh, minor Fire Salts and I got a lot of these from farming today. That, that route I showed you, I farmed like 15 of those today, so really good route for that. Um, and then, yeah, I put this on here too, just if, if we need de defense against Radiant Magic, so... I don't know, this one can be kind of interswapped, but that's kind of what we're rolling with right now. Um, I'm really hoping there's, like, crossbows here too, because I'm, like, I really want to put a crossbow up here so we can have that instead of just grenades. Because I feel like a crossbow would be really handy with this build. Um, we're at 38 minutes though, so we're gonna cap it off there. Man, time flies by when you're having fun, right? And uh, next episode, we're going to go to progress down that new pathway. All right, guys, stay tuned. Much more coming soon.